YouTube, this is Piper2031, and for this video I'm showing you an NFL jersey. Uh, this jersey was made by Reebok. And basically in 2010, uh, Nike bought the NFL license to manufacture uh, NFL apparel. So by 2012, anything that was still Reebok uh, NFL apparel went on sale or on clearance, which was fine with me because I like to buy my jerseys really cheap. So I bought this jersey on clearance. So uh, now let me just show you what the jersey looks like from the top. This is a v-neck collar. And at the bottom you have this NFL equipment patch, which is stitched on. And then on the inside you have this NFL equipment piece, which is in silver and black. Then a blue tag, which says uh, on-field Reebok. And this jersey is 100% polyester, and it was made in Honduras. Now, I actually bought a large. I usually get um, an extra large in my jerseys. But um, these jerseys tend to fit pretty big, so I was okay with getting the large. Here's the tag. Uh, original price here in Canada was $129.99. And I think I bought it for less than $20, which is pretty good. All right, so that's um, the tag. Now I'll show you the rest of the jersey. On the side shoulder, you have the Reebok logo, then the player's number. And at the bottom, you have these uh, three stripes, which are screen printed. Um, Nike does a little bit better job at doing this. It's a little thicker on the Nike jersey than on this Reebok jersey. But I'm okay with this quality for what I paid for it. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a mixture of polyester. Um, two different styles. This is football style with um, perforated holes. And then this piece over here. Um, then on the left side shoulder, you have the same thing again, the Reebok logo, the player's number, and uh, GSH. So I have to tell you this is a Chicago Bears jersey. And I had to Google the meaning of GSH, which, is, which stands for George S. Hallis, which basically was like a founding member of the Chicago Bears who then became like a player and then an owner. So it's kind of nice that a team or a franchise pays uh, honor to somebody who built the team like this. So I really like that. Now I'll show you the center of the jersey. In the center you have this huge patch which is the player's number. Now Reebok tends to do this a lot where um, the patch they'll just stitch on the outside and then on the inside they have this fake or illustrated uh, stitching. I'm a fan of this because I just believe that less stitching is better for a jersey that you're going to be using and wearing a lot. And now I'll show you the bottom. This tag is stitched on. It has the equipment uh, logo, then Reebok, the size, which is large, the NFL players logo, which is the union, and then a picture of the Chicago Bears football helmet. Pretty nice, I like it. I'll show you the back. On the back, as you can see, you have the player's number again. Same effect as in the front, which is just stitched on the outside. And then at the top of the back, you have the player's name. Uh, in this case, the player is Jay Cutler, which is the quarterback, currently the quarterback of the Chicago Bears. And you have that same effect where um, just the outside of the patch is stitched on each letter. 
and then you have the illustrated um, stitching in white so that's the jersey now I'll show you the jersey hanging here's the jersey looks pretty good um, pretty basic uh, design on it with the solid blue this navy blue and then the stripes on the side with that hit of orange and white I really like this jersey really classic and then the back really nice the side really comfortable jersey All right, um, that's it for now. If you want to see pictures, just follow the links to my blog, and I'll see you guys next time.